Let's create a warm color fall landscape drawing. For this project, you will need a black rectangle of paper, a white rectangle of paper, crayons, a glue stick, and watercolor paints. First, take your glue stick and put four circles of glue in each corner of the paper. You want a lot of glue so your white paper sticks to your black paper. Now we're going to flip this and center it in the black paper. Press your four corners, then flip your paper over and smooth the back. Now let's pick out our warm colors for our warm color fall landscape drawing. Now warm colors are the first three colors in the rainbow, reds, oranges, and yellows. Sometimes browns are also considered warm colors, so we're going to pick out some browns. The first thing we want to do is figure out where our treetops are going to go. We don't want our treetops up in the corners because we won't have enough room for them. And we don't want them near the bottom because we won't have enough room for the ground. So when you're thinking about where your treetops go, you wanna be thinking about circles and ovals. Your ovals could even go this way. Now I'm going to pick a warm color. And I think I'm going to go with circles. So I'm just drawing a bunch of circles and kind of filling in the middle, switch colors. Maybe I'll do an oval style tree here. I can even make this tree overlap with that tree. Maybe over here I want to do a red one. Maybe I'm gonna make this a little bit lower on the page than these other trees. I can even mix colors because this time of year when the leaves are changing colors on the trees, they're not all exactly one color. I like the way that red and orange looks together. So I'm gonna try red and yellow. Maybe I'll do a little center here too. You can do anything you would like. I think I like the way that looks. Now it's time to add in the ground. This is the part where the trees are going to connect to. Now I'm going to reach into my crayon container and find a cool color. Cool colors are colors like blue, purple, and green. I'm going to choose blue for the sky. Now for the sky, I'm just going to do some loop-de-loops of blue. I'm not trying to color the whole thing in perfectly. I'm kind of putting a texture in the sky. Now it's time for the tree trunks. Those are the parts that connect the tree to the ground. So I wanna think about how a tree trunk comes down into the ground. It doesn't look like a lollipop. Kind of spreads out a little bit at the bottom and sometimes even splits into branches at the top. Now this tree is behind this one, so I want to make sure that my black line is shorter. This way it looks like this is further in the distance, creating space in my artwork. Now I'm going to outline the ground, 
just because I like the way the black line looks. Great. Now it's time for paint. Because crayons are made out of wax and watercolor paints are essentially water, we know that water and wax don't mix. So I'm going to paint over my entire picture with the paint water. And you can see how the crayon does not let the paint through on the paper. Okay, now time to dry it. I'm going to take my paper towel, put it over top, and let the paper towel absorb all of the extra water. And this is kind of cool too, because the paper towel puts a texture on your artwork. And if you have any puddles, you can just take your paper towel and dab it to get rid of the puddles. And there you have a warm color fall landscape.